Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over our top five barrel proofs. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started with our top five barrel proofs, please like this video. Drop a comment down below. What is your favorite barrel proof? Um, subscribe to this channel, all that other fun stuff. Check us out over on Patreon. We're putting out quite a bit of good stuff over there. Absolutely. Uh, we are, can't put stuff out fast enough. We're trying to put out quite a bit of stuff and uh, just need time to keep filming. That's it. So, um, Matt, what are we drinking today? Before we all right, so it? this is actually going to be one of our honorable mentions. Mm -hmm. Larceny Barrel Proof. It's a good barrel proof. Um, a lot of people like it as a weeder, um, but it's just when we were sort of looking at our, our list, it was close to the top, but we just didn't end up putting it into the top five. Yeah. So I would say uh, Larceny Barrel Proof as an honorable mention. Yeah. Uh, so the very first one. And now, let's, let's start with this beforehand. This is all stuff that you should be able to get pretty easily. We didn't put anything allocated in here. We didn't put any store picks or anything yeah. like that in here. Um, because obviously that would totally change the game. So... Old Forest Single Barrel Barrel Proof, one of my favorites, would definitely be in it at that stage. Yep. <laughs> um, but... 1792 full proof. These things are nice. Usually there's a good amount of store picks of these out there. Yep. Plus you can find just the regular 1792 full proof. It is a good overall sipping, you know, 125 proof, I believe this one was. Um, yeah, 125. It's a good bourbon. Um, it doesn't give you too much of the overall burn. Like it's not like you're just drinking straight up, you know, burn. It's It's yep. got good flavors behind it, which is nice. Uh, have it neat, have it on the rocks, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. It's it's a good, overall pretty good set. Definitely. Um, so, my first pick was the always go-to Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I mean, this should be a staple in everybody's home bourbon bar. This is 100%. fantastic. These are, what, around like 115 proof or somewhere around there, I think? Yeah, 116.8. Um, 116.8, so the proof-wise is there. It's great for mixing. And you still get you still get some of that heat there with the mixing. The flavors are awesome. I mean, Wild Turkey they only have like one mashable, I think, um, but everything is just fire from them. It's it's great. And I mean, Wild Turkey one one is great, but mm -hmm. I'll tell you, this has been put into numerous amounts of blinds and, and always comes out on top. Yeah, it is a it should be a staple. The reason this bottle is actually brand new is because there's about this much left in my other bottle, and it's actually already upstairs, and I just didn't feel like going upstairs to get it. Yep. Um, but that is a, it is a, usually a regular drink for us. These are starting to get harder to find. I mean. They, they like disappeared. There was a bottle issue. They disappeared. And then they started coming back in. And then it seems like, I think, because everybody sort of was like, oh my goodness, Rare Breed's on the shelf again. Yeah. Buy it up. And it, I think it's because of people sort of almost going with the allocated Buffalo Tray style. Like, it was gone. I can see it. I'm just going to buy them up now. Yeah. But they, they still are. They're, they're slowly making their way back out on all the shelves. Yep. Um, which is pretty nice. And they're priced right, too, so that's another good thing. All right. My next one is Sagamore Cast Strength. So, once again, full bottle because, as you guys will see in my next store hall, I just tagged out another bottle of this. Mm -hmm. And it is a great sipper. Um, it's it's. I think Sagamore is one that's sort of overlooked. I think it's starting to gain popularity a lot. However, there's a lot of great flavors in here. Um, they have a lot of different versions too. You can get to good store picks of these, but just this cast strength rye is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. A lot of great flavor in there. Um, our next pick is, we, so we went with Matt's favorite for this year. Obviously every year, three of them come out and they're a little different. Elijah Craig. Yeah. I don't so, think you can talk barrel proofs without talking Elijah Craig. You have to, you have to. And... Now, you're going to go back and forth every year on which one's the best, because I think everybody said, what was it, like C920, I think was one C921. of the... C921. 21 was one of the best ones, supposedly, ever. You know, I actually liked the B522 this year over the C. I know you like the C the most. Yeah, I like the C um, But either way, I mean, it's just classic. They're all good flavors. They're all hitters. The one thing um, I like about these is depending on which one you get, the flavors are different. So if they, you, you you can try them out, and then when you find a bottle that's a hitter for you, you can just go and stack them. You know, hopefully they're stack still, them. They're still out there. I mean, it's actually to the stage now. We went into a store the other day, and I saw 
uh, this and Toasted Barrel just sitting on the shelves at retail. Yeah, I can't believe the Toasted Barrel was sitting there. And it's been there for like a month just sitting on the shelf. Nobody yep. touching it. I was I'm honestly shocked. Um, but that's we the nice pick that up next time we get down there. I was going to say, I think we still got two. I think we got a backup one anyways. Okay. But it's, you know, these are great barrel proofs. Yeah. If you guys haven't tried one yet, I would go look for one, try one. Um, I would try the C's, using my favorites, but... You like them because they're the hottest. All right. My number one favorite that's a easy to get, like I said, not store pick, not anything else... Mm -hmm. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. These things are absolutely phenomenal. There is so much flavor in this. There is yep. just, they're, they're all like 120s, 130 proof. Um, so high proof, which this, is nice. This one I think drank, drank a little mm -hmm. hot for me. It was like close to 130, wasn't it? 129.7 yeah. on that one, which is a little out of my wheelhouse. But these but. are so different than the normal Jack Daniels flavor palette. And these things are just... Yeah, I can't believe they're produced by the same phenomenal. company. Like, this is one, if, if I'm, like, starting a bar all over again, I'm going to buy Wild Turkey 101. I'm going to buy Rare Breed. I'm going to buy probably Old Forester 100. I'm going to buy one of these. This will be one of my top five bottles to have yep. in a bar just because it's that good. Yep. So... Those are our top five um, barrel proofs. Let us know down in the comments what do you guys like for a barrel proof? What's your overall, you know, number one go to for barrel proofs? Um, other than that, follow us along for the man shit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have, Have a great, great one. one.